All right, so the Trump team is headed to Phoenix this morning to try to still contest the election results in Decision 2020. That's right, Matt Uris is out live this morning with more details on what you need to know. Matt, what's their plan today? Good morning, Emma. The heart of the hearing will focus on Trump's campaign looking to highlight what they allege are voting irregularities. I want to highlight a date. Today is the day our state, Arizona, is expected to certify the results. Now back to the challenges and more details there. Again, it's expected to focus on alleged voting irregularities. Like we said, members of the president's legal team, including his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, are meeting here at the Hyatt, along with members of the Arizona GOP party. Republican members of the state legislature set up an email to gather evidence of election issues, but so far there hasn't been any released. In fact, security officials have called this, quote, most secure election in history. Note the president's legal team has already lost a battle in Maricopa County. Earlier this month, a judge dismissed a lawsuit seeking manual inspection of ballots in Metro Phoenix after the campaign's lawyers acknowledged the small number of ballots in question would not have made a difference. President-elect Joe Biden won Arizona by about 10,000 votes. The Trump campaign has also sued and lost in several other states. Finally, a federal safe harbor law states and uh, have gives states until December 8th to certify their results and submit electors to vote at the Electoral College. If they do not do that, the votes may be tossed out. And of course, Arizona has 11 electoral votes here. Live in Phoenix, Matt Uris today in AZ.